Hey guys, Matt here, checking in from southeastern Minnesota, western Wisconsin, what we call God's country. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Let's get her. morning Calgary and the rest of the world wherever you are watching this good morning to you good afternoon good evening I'm trying to get to my customer where I gotta deliver and I'm pretty sure Karen took me the long way but I checked her work and this did seem like it was the most direct truck route now I got a lane closure to deal with here what tarnation what's going on here slowly making our way there sort of wanted to be there right now but here we are still not there a lot of traffic lights on this road wasn't there a quicker way I am convinced there must have been a faster way but anyways uh, yeah Calgary is a beautiful beautiful city I always go on and on about it when we're here because it's my favorite Canadian city it's clean it's safe Lots to do here, you know, world class, world known, if that's a, a thing. Well, everybody, let's skip ahead a little bit here. I've got my next load on my trailer now, and I had to tarp it. That's all I want to say about that, but I'll show you. There's a lot of sharp edges underneath the tarps. I should have shown you before I tarped it. I was muttering to myself under my breath all morning while I was tarping this and didn't think of, hey, maybe I should show them what I'm gonna be talking about. Anyway, here, let's take a look at it. So the load is a whole bunch of like low gauge steel, uh, very sharp edges, and uh, it's all under here. I got four big rolls of insulation under here that's tied down. And the rest of this is all just like very fine steel very very sharp edges so i used all of my equipment all of my rug all of my extra rubber pieces and uh protected my tarps the best i could Let's see if we can give you a look under here what i'm talking about ah, see i tarped it good i can't even get under there to show you can you see it can you see it over there here well this is good if I can't get to it to show you guys that means I tarped it well there see it's this kind of stuff here and it's got very sharp edges very very sharp edges so we got 
rugs on all the corners and stuff here. Up here as well, we got some rubber pieces under here. Make sure that those sharp edges don't push through my tarps. Oh, 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 there's a sharp edge here that's not protected. Uh-oh, that's touching, that's touching. Okay, I gotta put something underneath there. Okay, I missed that one. I gotta go grab another piece of rubber and quickly uh, maybe throw that in there. I'm glad I walked around here again with you guys and noticed that. That will eat through that little sharp edge there. That'll cut through my tarp before I even leave Calgary. Put back in here. My hands are dirty anyway, so whatever. In here I got some of my equipment. And we'll use a piece. Uh, so I got a lot of these rubber pieces. This is a nice thick piece of felt. It's dirty, but it does the job. All right, so we need to put this in there. So we're gonna go underneath here. Underneath here. And go under there with our hand and push that up into there to protect that corner. I'm gonna need two hands here. Sorry guys. See, now it's not that sharp point. Just hope that it stays there. Keep an eye on it. Let's get going. <laughs> Merging on to the Trans Canada off Deerfoot here. Looking at my trailer as I go around the corner, the tarps are still where they're Continue supposed to be. This road for seven kilometers. We're gonna get out of the city and we're gonna pull off in the first little pullout or rest area. Give them a check, make sure all the straps are still tight, make sure my tarps are still where they're supposed to be. Make sure all of my edge protectors are still in place. Make sure my tarps aren't being cut open. So this trailer is going up the winter roads. I'm not going with it. I'm just taking it back to Winnipeg. All of my equipment is gonna go with it. Uh, the way our system works is that uh, the equipment all stays with the truck and the driver. I, I pay for all of that equipment, it's all mine. So instead of taking my tarps and all of my equipment off. It took me a couple of hours to get this work done. And making another driver do it all over again with his equipment, I'm gonna leave my equipment on there and just make a request that they kindly bring back my stuff. And uh, they put, usually put it on like a pallet for me in our yard and I put my name on it or truck number. And they let me know when it's back there. And in the meantime, I'll see if I can get another set of tarps. So at least the next guy will have, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of time saved. You won't have to tie the load down, won't have to tarp it. It was quite difficult because there's so many sharp edges. 
that car over there on the left? Really? Lane dove across four lanes of traffic that you didn't want to miss your turn. You know, there's such a thing as a U-turn. Just go past your turn and U-turn. Come back. Oh, well. Oh, well. What are we going to do? We're going to go in this lane. That's what we're going to do because I don't want to exit. Oh, we're heavier than I thought we were. It didn't look that heavy, but man. We're having a tough time pulling it up this little baby hill here. Yikes. I know it's Volvo, but come on, she's got a little bit more in there than that. Come on, girl. I know, I don't want to leave Calgary either, but I do want to go home. Just creeping here. There we go. Working hard, working hard. So, uh, I won't be able to quite make it home tonight. I could make it... Well... If I could do the speed limit, let's say, I could make it then. Barely. The speed limit is 110 kilometers an hour or 100 and, uh, or I mean 70 miles an hour. I can only do about 62 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour. So it is what it is. So we'll get as far as we can. At least we have home at the end of this trip. Go and enjoy some time at home there. Get some work done. The hat of the medicine. I need to get into this lane. This, this, this lane. Oh, it was awkward. There was someone right beside me. Thanks, bud. I want to go that way. Can I get past this guy here? Yes, I can. All right. Where else would we stop, right? Oh, maybe we stop at Petra Pass. They actually have some really nice truck stops. Husky or Esso or whatever you call them now. They're, they're pretty nice too, but... This is my favorite. Flying J. Pilot isn't in Canada, but Flying J is. Weird, right? But it's all the same company, Pilot Flying J. But in the US, you'll see Pilot and you'll see Flying J. Same company. And that's the reason they're my favorite, because they're on both sides of the border, and it makes it really easy for me to collect points on my points card, uh, free showers. They always have really nice showers, clean, sanitary. I'm happy with them. They have good internet service. Uh, I've partnered with them in the past, and they were pleasant to work with. Uh, not partnered with them anymore. I'm not partnered with anybody. Have you guys noticed, I haven't done any ads or any shout outs like paid shout outs or anything like that in like a long time. I'm, I'm thinking it's been like almost two years, right? Uh, no, I'm not gonna get fuel here. I'm gonna keep going. We'll get fuel in Balgoni or Moose Jaw or something. I'm just grabbing a coffee here. But I haven't done any ads or anything and that's on purpose. Not saying I'm never gonna do them anymore, but I'm just saying that I've had a lot of offers. <laughs> Honestly, every day when I go into my inbox on Facebook or uh, sometimes my email address, I have a different message from someone saying, hey, they're really nice people too. They're saying, hey, we'd love to partner with you. Uh, you know, we can either pay you X amount if you do this ad for us or if you mention us or stuff like that. Uh, and I've refused them all for a long time. So I'm not picking and choosing. For those of you watching that would like to partner with me, it's not personal i haven't been just avoiding you i've been avoiding all sponsorships and stuff and it's i don't want my channel to become one of those channels that's just constantly every day doing sponsorships but i'm i'm thinking of doing them in the future again i'm not totally against them i mean i understand i know i need to put food on the table too right and every little bit helps i've got a lot of repairs to do to my house a lot of renovations got to keep this truck running got to keep this boy fed it's a hungry weasel over here. Hey, man, don't bring me into this, man. But in the future, yeah. Uh, if you guys do want to get a hold of me for something like that, my email address is always below the videos, tjv at email.com. Uh, I only partner with brands that I would use myself. So I'll take a look at the brand, and if it's something that I would actually use and would benefit me, 
I'll partner with you guys and I'll share it with my followers because I don't want to promote something that I wouldn't even use myself. That wouldn't be real. That would totally, I think it would uh, take away from my integrity on this show and also I might lose faith in you guys, the audience. I want you guys to know that if I ever promote a brand, if I ever promote a product, it is something that I would use myself. That I'm not just doing it just because they're paying me for it. It's actually something that I would use and do use myself. So just heads up for the future. If I do do some, I don't have any lined up right now. I don't have any talks going on. I've been avoiding them all. But uh, if it does happen, then know that it is something that I would genuinely use myself. And uh, I'm not just selling out to anybody. Not just anybody. Just, just the certain people. <laughs> Because to me, a sellout is someone who will take money from a company to promote a product that they wouldn't even use themselves and that they don't even like. That's a sellout to me. But otherwise, it's just business, right? Don't worry, my vlogs aren't going to become an ad. Don't worry. You already got enough of those from Google, don't you? <laughs> I would also like to give everybody a happy update on my financial situation as a farmer, as Farmer Josh. Uh, probably put a hat on my hair is probably a mess today isn't it it's because I I was tarping before and so excuse that last clip I was talking for a while too I'm just gonna leave it in there this is real real life I don't do my hair every day okay but my financial situation in my farming game here has improved significantly the last time we talked I said I was far in debt and uh, well let's just collect this money here that I earned for fertilizing that good man's field Mr. Ramirez, I, you're welcome. Thank you for the money. Uh, let's see what money I'm gonna I'm only 25,000, actually I'm gonna pay off 5,000 of it. I'm only $20,000 in debt now. Last time we talked, I was $480,000 in debt. So I've been a good conservative and I've been paying off my debt. I'm a good farmer, right? Well, we're coming up to the end of our day here in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. This is where we're gonna lay our head down tonight. I wanted to get a little further, but meh. Here we are. It's 11 o'clock right now, so I'm getting tired. I've been up since pretty early. Tomorrow we have seven hours to drive to get to home. It's still like a full day, but we're gonna try and get up at right, like, you know, between seven and eight in the morning and get a good early start. Turn left on, ninth Avenue. Ninth what? No, 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 no. We're gonna go here into Flying J. We're gonna grab some fuel tonight first, so I don't gotta do it in the morning. Cause I'm gonna be lazy in the morning. It's my last day before I go home. I don't wanna do nothing. I just wanna get behind the driver's seat. Well, after I do my pre-trip. Get behind the driver's seat and go home. That's all I wanna do. Off over here. So courteous to turn your headlights off once you get into a parking lot. Just be careful because uh, obviously pedestrians won't see you as easily. So, I mean, if you want to leave them, I understand why, but I don't know. Maybe I have like a sensitivity to light. I don't like people with lots of bright light. I like the dark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not this one. Not this one. I'm going to go over here to this one. There we go. There we go. Come on. Is that guy seriously just parking right there? Dude, that's not a parking spot. That's the driveway where people drive through to get to the other side when all these pumps are full. But go ahead, park there because you're a flying you Priority parking. I get it. I get it. We're a flying J. Oh, wait, wait. Why is there two pumps here? That's dyed diesel. Oh, that's for the farmers. This one's for me. All right. I'm not a farmer. Not technically. 